Did you know we have almost 800 family video stores? So if you love movies and games, then come join our team of over 7,000 employees of the largest rental chain in the U.S. And we're still growing. We're still I'm going to miss the people the most. I'm going to miss seeing the regular people and the people that I've been working with for like a year and a half of where I know their lives. And it's now I'm not going to be able to sit there and say, hey, James, you know, you know, with your health condition, like, how, how's that going? Or, hey, Tiffany, you know, how's it going with, with the kids? And I'm going to miss that daily interaction with them. I'm going to miss my coworkers that I work with every day. One of my regulars, his last day, he said it was going to be his last day, was coming in on Saturday, and I cried. I cried saying goodbye to him. Because you care that much. I believe that we're closing due to the current environment. And you've got a grand total of streaming networks started coming in and nipping away at the business with Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. Everything is on demand. And then COVID hit and shut everybody down for two and a half months and our clientele is primarily older people who are susceptible to COVID so they weren't coming back in. It's bittersweet. There's a lot of positivity here so it's pretty unfortunate that we're done. Um, I will remember this for the rest of my life shortly. There's just not a lot of places anymore where you can just go and look for videos and look for games and get that experience of, you know, having all these wide range of things that you maybe wouldn't see on Netflix or Hulu. You know, a lot of the stuff we did have wasn't on Netflix and that's why people would come. We specialized in getting to know our customers. We specialize in being able to make those personal recommendations to people of, Hey, you have a tendency to rent these horror movies. Hey, have you checked out this one? This one is freaking awesome. Or knowing what they like and what they don't like. And yeah, you're not gonna like that. <laughs> How about we not do that today and trade that for this? <laughs> yeah, so be careful with we all knew this was coming down the pike, but if we could have stayed open forever, we would have. I think I'm just gonna miss the people the most. Uh, like working with my friends, my coworkers, you know, and the people who would come in every day and you get to know them and they'll come in, they'll know your name and you'll know what they're already looking for because they'll tend to get like the same thing or some candy and stuff. So definitely I think the people and the community that this store brings. It's really unfortunate that this place is going to be gone. Um, I don't have cable. I can't afford Wi-Fi. I don't have Netflix, I don't have Hulu, I have kids uh, that need entertainment and so that's how I got the job at this place um, because I was a regular customer here. And there's a lot of people who don't have internet, who don't have streaming platforms um, and there is not any place like this for them to go. I think what makes me love this place is it's such a community feel. and. You have regular people who come in here, like sometimes daily, sometimes weekly, sometimes like bi-weekly, because you can basically tell kind of when they got paid because they're running 50,000 things at once. But you know them by name. You know their story. You get to talking with them. And it's like when someone comes in, it's like, hey, Tiffany, you know, hey, James, how you doing today? We've got stuff set aside for you already because we knew you were coming today. Because you can pretty much time on some of the regulars on when they're coming. And it's just, they care about you, you care about them, and it's not just like a big box store. I mean, you actually know 99% of the people who are coming in here, and that's such an unusual situation for a business. And it's that homey feeling. You kind of feel like when you're coming in the door, it's kind of like coming into a second home. People say that they want to support small business, but what they really want is the convenience. People are looking for instant gratification. They want it right now. 
they don't want to sit there and drive to a video store and have to wait in line, have to look for something, and then like, oh, well, I, you know, I wanted to watch Force of Nature and it's rented out. On demand is never out. And I think that was the beginning of the end. You know, convenience beats the small business. And, you know, and I've been guilty of this, you know, you use Netflix and you use Hulu, you don't have to leave the house, you know, things like DoorDash, uh, you don't have to leave the house, it's easier. Even though it's more expensive, people who are able to pay the price will choose convenience over small business. And unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Um, I've even had people come in and be like, yeah, I stopped coming because, you know, all the stuff is on Netflix, so why, why would I come here when I can just have it for Netflix? And I'm like, okay. So it's just more of the people miss out on the experience, and they would rather stay at home. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss seeing you every day and being a part of your lives. And that we hope you don't forget us. And all the joy that you brought to us and hopefully we brought to you. Video